Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy the DSU Prime G and I'm back with another YouTube video and tonight we or tonight today I don't know where I'm gonna schedule to get this video out, but I'm recording really late, like midnight. I have I haven't had any time to upload this so I've been uploading in like two days I think. I told you I I would be busy down here. So tomorrow I'm going somewhere and I won't be able to upload so I'll make it scheduled to upload on some time I don't know but anyway welcome back to another YouTube video <coughs> we're playing some more heavy rain I I'm, I'm believe this is like part of six or seven but I'll have it in the title I'll figure it out but anyway I love you all so much thank you so much for all the support on the on the on the channel and the series it means so much now, we had to cut off one of our fingers. The cops hunted us down because they think the father is the origami killer, so... freaking pigs, man. Anyway, we're there with Madison. Madison thinks we're the origami killer. She questioned us. I don't really know what any of those means, so that's why I paused it and just ended it. But anyway, I'm ready to, to play. Let's get it. so... If you see me cry, just let me be. Move along, nothing to see. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. This. Ethan Mars, okay, right father there. of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is there on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Anyway, make sure you smack the link button. So Maddie moves and come through there, yep. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I don't even know what half of these mean, so let's go with the um, Bree. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm the only one who can save Sean. For your own safety, Madison, I think you should go. Go! Ethan! They're after me too! They've seen my face! I'm in this too deep to stop now. I... I sometimes have these blackouts times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't okay. keep going like this. I hope they, they You're destroying them. yourself, Ethan. <clears throat> Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. 
You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. What's next? Is he gonna have to make us rob a store or something? Save your son, Brad's over six seven eight to six seven eight. Oh my god, now you know what I'm saying. It's gonna make us attempt more murder, man. And the sad thing is, you have to do it. Hopefully, he has no kids. when I said R1. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. I think you That's just do what that. I was thinking of doing. Millionaire son. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep it. I'll be right back, guys. That's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir.
It's hectic down here, guys. It's busy all the time. Well, it's the summer, so... Let's look at the clues. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. So what are, what are we supposed to do? Um... A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? So let's back out of here. Let's clear all those. Get everything. Oh, the car. Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Driver's license. So we're getting more clues. Jackson Neville, AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. The killer, why they call him, you mean the kidnapper? Dump down. It's triggered by blood, huh? Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in your walk. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit. It's... It's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. Shelby now. Benefit and T till ten AM Thursday. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? There he is. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? S Scott! 
Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I I repair clocks, but I I will. Get about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I. I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. You do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Definitely not in the bathroom. Ah, okay. Let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. 
Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. We can get there in two minutes. <laughs> you think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Check on him, man. I'd hate to see him die. Hello, Manfred. Hello. Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Oh, my God. He's dead. Oh, God. We gotta get out of here, man. We, we gotta get out of here. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? What? I don't even know. Get out of there. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. We touch bros, what did we touch? We definitely touched this. We touched this guy. We, 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 we touched the we touched the glass. We touched the, this one right here. We never touched the bottle. You get all the prints? Yes. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. I wonder who killed Alfred. We got the phone. So. Oh, we f So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few 
few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it. You Scott. Taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We were partners, remember? We had a deal. Oh boy, not a game. Listen, really? Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're gonna be a good girl, you're gonna go home, and let me get on with my investigation. Stop. Stop the fucking car! This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Lauren! It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Genre. Hopefully we're Ethan. Yes. I don't know what these bonuses are. Do you? Time to shoot someone.
I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Take cool. it easy, man. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You niggas come into my house and say, oh my god, you'll be shooting up in hell for the fire, you know, kid. Will you stop fucking moving? Whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> Make it so I'm difficult. a father too. Just do it. But I have no choice. Like we're Madison. Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. 
hopefully it's not creepy. And the owner of the this, apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Vitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, no thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. seen you around here before. Do not drink that glass, Who told Maddie. you about me? Uh, the important thing is that we're here, right? Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Don't trust drinks, strangers, Guy you gives know? me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. doors. I'll make him some lies if he finds me.
surgical gowns. I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold oh, on. This might sting him. Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Thanks a lot, but I don't need it. Who does not need the Bible in these times of violence and hatred? Holy Scripture will bring you peace and comfort and you all you need it. All for me is five dollars.
Alright guys, so that's going to conclude matters for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for all the support on the, on the channel and on the series. It means a lot. Make sure you smack the like button if you enjoyed and Keep smacking the like button and I keep dropping some support. If you want to see me drop these videos more consistently. I told you I'm going to be um, busy down here. Uh, but I'll be able to upload my Tuesdays to Friday. And then, like, really late, or really early on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So. Yeah, anyway. I love you all. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for 130 30 subs. It means a lot. Um. Please share this video with everyone you know, your friends, your family, tell them so, tell them to like. And uh, yeah guys, I'm gonna see you in the next one. It's been Dish Crunchy and I'm out y'all. Peace. That's nice.